You guys are ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. First of all, uh, let me welcome you in this historical interview, guys, between Panathinaikos and an Olympiakos uh, player, some hours before the first showdown of the year between the two teams. The fact that you guys are getting along really well, and you were teammates uh, last year and uh, the year before in uh, Galatasaray, made it easier to happen. Uh, long time no see for you two guys, or you already have met in Athens? Go ahead, Aaron, you can answer that, man. You said, have we met in Athens? Oh, no. I mean, you know, with all the COVID and stuff going on, that we, I, I just try to stay in the house and, you know, if we, you know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, not really. Just just try to just try to stay safe, you know, social distancing, you know? How about you, Zach? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. I think, you know, with, the, with everything going on, we haven't had a chance to. Uh, we've reached out on a couple of times, but we've had trips, preseason games, so our schedules haven't lined up, but we uh, – we're looking forward to going to have uh, dinner soon. Zach, you are like uh, an old guy here in, uh, in Greece, uh, comparing to uh, Aaron, and uh, you have also Greek origins, and uh, you've been there, you've been here uh, already for one year. Uh, what would you like to say to Aaron before you see him uh, on the court and uh, uh, play against him? I mean... Usually we would have a conversation, but I'd rather hold that till after the game. After the game, we can be uh, we can be homeboys again. But right now, he's uh, he's my rival, so it's strictly you, business right now. Strictly business. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can. Uh, I haven't been here long, but I I, I can obviously um, see how important this game is. You know what I mean? So. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going in serious and trying to do everything I can to win. So, uh, Zach can tell to Aaron. I yeah. don't know if he have he has already uh, told him. You know, in in your time in Turkey, uh, what it means uh, this game, Panathinaikos against Olympiakos. Yeah, no, this uh, it goes back from the beginning of history between these two clubs. Um, you know, it's a legendary matchup. It might be one of the best. Uh, in Europe, to be honest, I don't think there's anything like this derby. Um, unfortunately, we won't have a chance to play under the atmosphere that we usually would with with fans, because that changes the whole dynamic of the game. But uh, Aaron, uh, did uh, Zach tell you tell you something? You know, the year before, you know about uh, what he's seen, what he's experienced. You know, uh, in these games, you know, in Waka and in Sef. Yeah, I mean, he 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 um, he explained to me a little bit. Um, because of course we play for Galatasaray and they're the rival against um, is Fenerbahce and I thought that was like a little crazy but he said this is way more intense and way more like it's it's just it's taking more serious so um, I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, bummed out that I don't get to play in the in the full atmosphere you know the fans and stuff but I'm still excited about the game and I, and I know it's it's still a big game. How soon after you signed with Olympiacos? You started hearing uh, from uh, the people of the team or, you know, from the people in the streets that you must win against Panathinaikos. I mean, I, like, well, I started kind of hearing from the fans even before I signed, but um, after I signed, that's, that's, I get a message about the, the Panda game every single day still from the summertime till now. I've gotten a message every single day about the Panda game, so um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. That happened to you also, Zach, uh, three years ago? Oh, yeah, for sure. You get messages. You're walking in the street just to get coffee or, or anything. Fans will come up to you and tell you, like, make sure you beat the Reds. Make sure you beat the Reds. So, Okay, before we let you go, uh, let's talk a little bit about basketball. Uh, first, Zach, since you are the host, uh, what do you think that if Panathinaikos does well, will get the win? Um, we need to play aggressive defense. Um, um, and if we can do that and control the rebounds, I think we should have a, a great chance. And which uh, player of Olympiacos do you consider the most uh, uh, difficult, you know, the most dangerous? I mean, they have a lot of weapons. They, uh, they have some great bigs. They have some great wings, some shooters, obviously. Uh, and they have a lot of experience at the point guard. So 
We just have to be able to match that. Aaron, what Taliban has to do well to to get the win in Oaka, and which is the most uh, dangerous opponent player for Panathinaikos? Oh, I mean, I'm not going to say too much, you know. I mean, they're a professional team, so you have to respect everyone on the court, everyone on the team. So um, from the bigs, uh, Zach and the other bigs, and the guards obviously are, are, are aggressive. So I'm just going to come out and play hard and, and, and uh, just figure it out. Last question for both of you. Who wins tomorrow? And uh, do you guys uh, want to bet in something? Yeah, for, I'm, I'm down for a bet. I'm, I'm down for a bet, Aaron. What you want to bet on it, man? We'll talk about that later. Nah, so look, maybe? after, look, a look dinner, yeah, right, a dinner, a dinner. So if we win, you got to take me out to dinner after the game. And I get dinner. to choose why I get to go. We get to choose. I choose where we go. All right. I do. It's live. So now everybody knows. Yep. <laughs>